Now that you know how to write conditionals, let's talk about writing biconditionals and definitions. A biconditional is a conditional that goes both ways. Yes, that is the joke, but it's true. It is a single true statement that combines a true conditional and its true converse. Notice how many times the word true appears in that definition. If the statement is not true, it is not a biconditional. You can write a biconditional by joining the two parts of each conditional, meaning the conditional and its converse, with the phrase, if and only if. And yes, there's a symbol for that. Notice the line with the arrowhead at both sides. We read that symbol as P, if and only if, Q. A quick example, a point is a midpoint if and only if it divides a segment into two congruent segments. So let's try this. What is the converse of the true conditional? If the converse is also true, rewrite the statements as a biconditional. If the sum of the measures of two angles is 180 degrees, then the two angles are supplementary. Now we were already told that this is true, so all that we need to worry about is if the converse is true. So here is our hypothesis and our conclusion. So let's write our converse. If two angles are supplementary, then the sum of their measures is 180 degrees. Now is the converse true? Well, let's see. The definition of supplementary angles tells us that this is true. Since the original conditional is true and the converse is true, we can now write a biconditional. And we do that by joining the hypothesis and conclusion using the words if and only if. So our biconditional should read, the sum of the measures of two angles is 180 degrees if and only if the two angles are supplementary. Interestingly enough, our conditional. Also, because it's a biconditional, it is created from... It's, now remember, this phrase, if and only if, is the thing that joins the hypothesis and the conclusion of a conditional. So knowing that, we can write, if a ray is an angle bisector, then it divides an angle into two congruent angles. So that should read, if a ray divides an angle into two congruent angles, then it is an angle bisector. The two conditional statements that form a biconditional are a conditional and its converse.